everyone, welcome back to Perky Penny Paper Arts August Carter Palooza Celebration. To celebrate my birthday and thank you all for subscribing, I'll be having a giveaway. The grand prize will be this beautiful and brand new Altenew Floral Alphabet Stamp and Die Set. I fell in love with this set the minute I saw it and purchased two sets so I could gift one to a lucky subscriber. To enter, subscribe and click the notification bell so you don't miss any of my August videos, and then watch and comment. One comment equals one entry, one comment per video uploaded in August. It's that simple. Check out the link in the description below for more information. Be sure to subscribe and comment on parts 1, 2, 3, and 4 for more chances to win. Today, I'll share a few cards using the coordinating dies from the Simon Says Stamp August 2018 card kit with the kit to save time while making cards. This first card is for my sister, who has a little Boston Terrier named Petey, and just adopted a little sister for him named Princess. It was easy and fun to make this gatefold card. I took a piece of cardstock that measured nine and three quarter inches by four and a quarter inches and scored it at two and a half inches and seven and a half inches. And four of the picket fences die cut out of the striped paper and then stamped with the line detail stamp from the card kit stamp set. I measured one of the fences to see how much I would want to cut off the sides to create flaps to put the fences on. After I marked and trimmed the card base, I attached the picket fences to the flaps one on each side. The die cuts don't exactly match up, but it's close enough. For a background, I cut a piece of the butterfly paper to dish size of four and three quarter inches by four and a quarter inches. I rounded the corners of the card base and this panel and used my tape runner to attach them together. I took the wreath image and die and created three panels. One, I stamped the image on the script pattern paper from the kit and colored it in with Copic markers and die cut it. A second, I stamped the image on what plain white cardstock and again colored in the image using the same Copic markers. The third is a plain die cut of this image. You'll see how I'm going to use that later. I attached the scripted wreath to the front of the card and then positioned and adhered the colored wreath to the inside of the card. I added the adorable pup stamp from the Simon and Love stamp set from Simon Says Stamp that I had colored in Copic markers, and then finally added the backing to the front panel to hide any adhesives, etc. Didn't this turn out cute? I'm sure my sister's going to love it. So, I had a little mishap and deleted the video of creating this card, so I thought I would give you a good look at its angles and explain what I did. Sometimes we don't want to color. We aren't in the mood, we need a quick card, you name it. It's these times that pattern paper is truly our friend. We can use the old tried and true paper piecing. I took the flower pot image and stamped it onto one of my shaving cream papers from last week. This Nouveau Shimmer Powder is so cool. It's called Storm Cloud and you guessed it, it's dark gray. Mix it with shaving cream and you have a beautiful marble effect akin to Carrera marble. Who doesn't love a Carrera marble anything, right? And this flower pot is no exception. I wasn't interested in stone looking flowers. So to create a bouquet, I took the dye and a piece of pattern paper that had these pretty sprays of flowers. I cut several out using the dye and then attached them to my pot where the flowers would be. I attached some flat and then popped another set up with foam squares to create more interest and dimension. I had a strip of the scripted paper left from the last card, so I decided to use that with a frame of the pink paper from the kit to add some background decor to my card. To have a little fun with my sentiment, I curved it so that it would run along part of my floral design, stamped it in black ink, and set it off a bit using the Nouveau drops from the kit. With this last card, I used the same technique to create a floral embellishment for the front of my card. But the card also showcases a fun way to use die cut sentiments. I took a 4 and 8 inch by 5 and 3 8 inch panel of the pretty soft pink floral paper from the kit and attached it to the front of an A2 top folding card base. 
I chose a die from the Hero Arts Oval Infinity die set and cut out the center panel of the front of the card, which I set aside to, to make another card later. I then attached the floral, floral arrangement to the bottom of my card, and for support I backed it up with the die cut out in white as well. And now to create my sentiment. I stamped the phrase on some white cardstock in black ink. I then took the die cut and cut it out of a scratch piece of cardstock. I placed the die cut opening over my stamped phrase and lined it up so as to have equal borders around the entire phrase. I then go to the actual die and fit that into the die cut opening. It fits snugly and stays in place quite well, but I, but I added some purple tape just to be sure and then ran it through my die cutter. I'm a huge fan of this pretty scripty phrase die cut. I placed some adhesive at either end of the sentiment strip and placed it over the oval on my card front. It's the perfect way to let this sentiment stand out. Well, there you have it, our five-part series dedicated to this beautiful Simon Says Stamp August 2018 card kit. Thank you so much for joining me on this adventure. I wanted to show you many different ways you can use the kit, by itself or by adding your existing supplies. I hope you found it inspirational and would love it if you tagged the cards you create from this inspiration on Instagram at hashtag PerkyPennyPapers so I can see your creations. Please be sure to watch all of the August videos, subscribe to my channel, and comment on each of the videos to increase your chances of winning the wonderful grand prize. Thank you so much again, and have a great day. For more information, please visit my blog at www.perkypennypapers.com and follow my Instagram at Perky Penny Papers. If you enjoy this video, please like it and share it and subscribe to my channel to see when new videos are uploaded. A list of supplies is available in the description of this video. Thank you so much for spending your time with me today.